Sarah Ann Zaldua once reflected that what characterizes the path for women of color is the continual struggle of, quote, always having to fight, always having to go against the current with any idea, never being able to just be ourselves because to be ourselves was never good enough. Ansel Dua was born in 1942 in Jesus Maria, South Texas. She grew up in a ranching environment and moved to Hargill at the age of 11. After her father's death when she was 15, the family worked in the fields briefly as migrant laborers. After high school, Ansel Dua attended college for one year at Texas Women's University, but was forced to return to the valley due to her inability to afford college. After working for two years and saving some money, she was finally able to return to her education, and she wound up majoring in English, art, and secondary education. And it's during this time she became involved with the Chicano movement. Her work discussing Chicana feminist lesbian politics caused conflicts, however, with her family, in particular her mother and her sister. And after a tense period, Ansel Dua and her mother were eventually reconciled. It should be pointed out that Ansel Dua also faced obstacles um, both within her Chicano culture but from academic institutions as she sought to study feminist and Chicana topics. Um, however, eventually she was successful and went on to earn an MA in English and education from the University of Texas at Austin in 1972, and she eventually became a university teacher and lecturer in third world feminism. Ansel Dua's teaching approach emphasized a feminist pedagogical philosophy which sometimes met resistance from students. She aimed to create classroom environments where women of color could freely express themselves and prioritize their experiences and perspectives. Gloria Ansel Dua's groundbreaking work, Borderlands, which appeared in 1987, created new literary and scholarly spaces and most critics regard it as her masterpiece, a groundbreaking work that transcends traditional literary and expository genres. It blends poetry and prose, switches between English and Spanish, and weaves an autobiography reflecting her lived experiences. Ansel Dua incorporates critical theory, history, and sociolinguistics into her unique voice. As a literary text, Borderland showcases poetic, epic, and tragic voices while also addressing historical and political realities, those found at the U.S.-Mexican border. The video excerpt that follows looks at the Chicana feminist movement. Take a listen to this very brief excerpt about Anzal Dua and what she says about the new tribalism. The clip does get cut off at the end but it's really worth the look. In the late 60s, Chicanas as well started to see themselves as oppressed, not just by race and class, but by gender. Women were often denied leadership roles within the Chicano student movement. Building on the work of Perez and other writers, Gloria Anzaldúa, a Chicana and lesbian writer, further expanded the roles and identities of Chicanos. To rage and look upon you with contempt is to rage and be contemptuous of ourselves. We can no longer blame you nor disown the white parts, the male parts, the pathological parts, the queer parts, the vulnerable parts. Here we are, weaponless with open arms, with only our magic. Let's try it our way, the Mestiza way, the Chicana way, the woman way. By the end of the 60s, within the Chicano struggle, women are protesting. Um, in the 70s, they begin publishing. They really burst forth in the 80s. Gloria's book is part of this, this bursting of energy that has been repressed by the patriarchal part of, of ethnicity and the patriarchal the mainstream that's picking the, the books up and publishing them. Suddenly there's this thrust. I call this whole thing the new tribalism because it's no longer, we're, we're no 
longer happy, satisfied, or limited to, you know, the little cubby holes that race has given us. We're all like blurring those racial categories. Writer Gloria Anzaldúa was born in 1942 in the Rio Grande River Valley, the borderlands of South Texas. Gloria Anzaldúa's 1987 book, Borderlands, La Frontera, examines social, geographical, and racial borders in American culture. Anzaldúa's work redefined the mestizaje as all people who live between worlds. <laughs>